Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with uh, Doug Rucker School. Hey, my passion is helping you guys that are just getting started in this business with training and product to help you master this industry. And today, we're going to get real, okay? We're going to get really real and talk about uh, hose reels, specifically uh, this Titan hose reel. I've had a lot of questions. We've done a few rigs for people with these Titan hose reels on them and uh, just kind of how to get the stack unit on them. It gets kind of cumbersome on the inside. So I uh, just want to go over number one, a few tools that you're going to need. Uh, one of the most important that I found, this is called a crow foot wrench. You can get them in a set like this. Um, very handy, lots of, uh, lots of different things that you can use these for in your pressure washing business, uh, building rigs, fixing rigs, all kinds of things that you can use them for. Um, but this is the, probably the most important tool that I've ever found that helps make this job easier, building and, and installing these uh, Titan hose reels and a lot of other hose reels, as a matter of fact. An impact wrench with a 9 16 socket on it. Um, and again, I've got another reel over here. We're going to install the brackets on here and stack it. So real quick, I've already loosened the latch pin here. So you would want to do that. Um, take it off. The latch pin is what goes into the reel and stops it from spinning. So uh, let's get it removed. Pick up my nut that I've dropped. And uh, the reason you take this off is when you put this bracket on over here, you're going to put it back on top of it. And so we will do that. And I just use my fingers for this job um, and just kind of get them started. Just kind of, you just kind of have to feel where, uh, you'll drop it a few times like I do. Nobody's perfect. But I kind of spin the bolt into the nut. Find it a lot easier that way. Kind of get it snugged up a little bit. Get the other one here. By the way, what's your favorite reel that you use? Uh, there's a lot of popular ones out there. You got Cox hose reels, um, Titan. Hannay is one of my favorites. Hannays are excellent. I love Hannay reels. Uh, the Titans are good too. Um, Cox, General Pump. We sell General Pump hose reels here. We sell Titan. We can get you pretty much anything that you want. Um, but let me know what your favorite hose reel is in the comments below. If you have a question about hose reels, you know, one of the things, if you're going to run bleach through it, whether you're downstreaming or uh, using a dedicated pump, you want to make sure you have a stainless steel manifold. Um, the manifold is this part here where the fluid or your mix actually goes through. So it's very important if you're just running water through the hose reel. <coughs> then excuse me then it's not necessary that you have uh, stainless steel uh, it costs a little bit extra but it's a great thing to have so um, got my latch pin back on I've got this one bracket here so here's where this comes in handy this allows me to go in here onto these bolts and hold it securely or onto the nuts and hold it securely and grabs kind of grabs onto it back there then I can take my impact wrench with my socket on it and I can tighten all these up pretty quick just simply by and I'm, I, what I want to try to do is get the camera over here and show you exactly what it looks like if I can there is Hopefully you can see that. Let's get it over this way a little bit. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. I can't see what you're seeing. But that's the crow wrench there, crow foot wrench there. And so that just kind of holds onto the nut inside there. Let's 
get our camera back over here and it allows me to tighten it up and just kind of hold it without having to get my uh, fingers down in there and try to hold it or a wrench or whatever okay, so that's that's pretty much tightened up and then you're going to do the same thing with the other bracket in the hardware kit that you get with these hose reels you get all the nuts and the bolts that you need and so you would just continue doing this then you take the other hose reel stack it on top there's four bolts for it uh, main thing is make sure when you're doing your latch pin here right here that again that's what stops the hose reel from spinning going down the road or whatever um, and then you've got a little hole there or slice there that will let allow it to roll um, you get your reel handle goes on one side and then you have your uh, swivel which goes on the other side and then you get these this part right here where your hose goes let's pull this latch pin that's where your fitting will go to hook your hose up this is half inch so you have to get like a three eight or a half inch to three eighths reducing bushing so that you can put that in the way i always do mine is i just have my plug coming out and i hook a coupler into here this way um if i'm ever at a, at a job and i want to drop the hose and move the truck or move the trailer pretty quickly i can do that without having to roll them back up um, but you just want to always make sure you teflon tape all your fittings get them in really good and um, a lot of guys will just uh, thread the end of their hose into this that's fine i just find sometimes over you over time that you use these um, makes it a little harder to get it off because they just kind of tighten down or whatever but I, I just like to use quick net fittings on the end of mine. It's a personal preference. Uh, just makes it easy to remove and replace hoses, especially when you split one and you want to add another hose real quick on a job, you can do that. So crow, front, crow foot rent set, um, 9 sixteenths is what you need. As a matter of fact, if you're ever at a pawn shop, Buy as many 9 16 open-ended wrenches as you can, sockets, all that kind of stuff, those, and 7 16 and there's a few others that are very, very popular um, that you'll use on a lot of uh, repairs and things in the field, equipment. So I would just suggest you get as much as those, but I hope that helps you guys. Very easy to uh, install these things and put them together if you've got that crow foot wrench. If you've ever put one together, you've got an easier way post it down in the comments and as always if you have any questions let me know be sure to hit the subscribe button and click that little bell so you get notifications when i come on um, with little tips and any type of education matter of fact next week i'm uh, going to be doing a house wash going to be doing quite a few videos from that uh, do a little series and post them incremental incrementally for you guys to help you out on some things so um let me know if you need some videos, you need some help with anything. Don't forget our online video school at PressureCleaningSchool.com. Over 200 training videos available to you. Hey, y'all have a great day. If I can help you in any way, just let me know.